All right. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Once again, we are back taking a look at the tropics. Today is Sunday, July 7th, 2024. This is your afternoon update on Tropical Storm Barrel, now uh, imminently about to make landfall along the coast of Texas in the next 24 hours or less. Barrel remains a tropical storm today. Maximum stay winds are about 65 miles an hour, and the storm has slowed down considerably on approach to the Texas coastline, with a landfall expected sometime early on Monday morning between uh, right about Matagorda Bay and into parts of southern Galveston Island is a sign of what we've narrowed the final track down to. This is a quick update, mostly for YouTube, but um, we're going to get something out. I am traveling this afternoon, so won't be able to be posting too much on YouTube. But uh, we will have some updates throughout the day on Facebook as the storm gets going. So what are we watching today with Tropical Storm Barrel? Well, the Morning Advisory from the Hurricane Center, again, shows that landfall point. Maximum stain winds are 65 miles an hour. And that movement to the northwest now at just 10 miles per hour. And further slowdowns are expected over the next uh, day or so as it does move in. You see the landfall 7 a.m. Monday. This is forecast to just be on shore. So landfall looks like some time right around sunrise tomorrow morning. Now, as we're looking at the storm now, it is a tropical storm, but the Hurricane Center is still fairly confident this is going to become a hurricane. Hurricane warnings are still in effect from the Texas coast, from Baffin Bay to San Luis Pass. Tropical storm warnings are in effect, flanking that on either side. Storm surge watches are also in effect, so there is still the likelihood that this is going to be a hurricane. This is the satellite presentation and a little bit more zoomed in look this morning. Barrel has organized much better today. It's taken the storm a while. It's still not all that impressive in terms of intensity, but the eye wall mostly closed except for one gap in the northern eye wall where it looks like some dry air has intruded part of the storm. But there is a robust uh, three quarters of an eye wall here today that's already been built. The storm is much more vertically stacked and it looks like the outflow is quickly improving. We can see an outflow channel to the south and the trough beginning to ventilate that storm to the north. So the wind shear is decreasing. It's over very warm water. And we now have that dual outflow channel pattern established. All things that look like it's going to give Barrel the opportunity to strengthen possibly quite quickly tonight and even up to landfall tomorrow. So it's important to remember that although Barrel is a tropical storm today, the Hurricane Center still explicitly forecasts this to be an 85 mile an hour hurricane at landfall. And even in their discussion, which would be that would be category one that people should be preparing for the possibility of a Category 2 hurricane. We, we really don't want to discount these storms that begin to rapidly intensify near the coast, and this looks like Barrel is going to do just that. And as I've talked about in previous videos, there's a difference in a storm that unwinds as it comes into land and a storm that is building up as it comes to the land. The, the effects carry further inland when they're intensifying up until landfall because then they got to reverse that trend as they come ashore and it's not nearly the same as a storm that's already kind of falling apart so barrel is a dangerous hurricane and it will be a dangerous hurricane when it makes landfall let's talk some impacts real quick uh, storm surge first up up to six foot of storm surge is forecast mostly for matagorda bay and points up a little bit to the east of that you know again those hurricane warnings extend uh, up to about San Luis Pass, but again, three to five foot of water rise in Galveston Bay, where you may not even get hurricane force winds, but the storm can still push a lot of water on shore as it moves up. Four to six foot, though, is looking like the high point of the water, but if someone got a little bit over six, this thing really takes off and gets to Cat 2, wouldn't be shocked. And again, like most of the Gulf Coast, the Texas coast is very vulnerable to storm surge. So um, definitely something we want to keep a very close eye on. And even over into Corpus Christi, where you guys look like you're going to miss the uh, head on hit to the east, you could still get a, several feet of water rise in areas that typically flood are going to flood. And again, those hurricane warnings go all the way down to Baffin Bay. So your hurricane warnings extend through here. And that's you know, no, no doubt coincidentally where the highest storm surge values are. Rainfall totals to come, it looks like a solid hit on this as well. 8 to 12 inches for a lot of folks. Again, understand like if you're in Houston and Galveston, you're on that dirty side of the storm, so you're going to get a lot of rainfall from this. Rain bands are already starting to come on shore, and tropical storm force winds will be on station by tonight. So, you know, any preparations, they got to be wrapped up by by tonight. You know, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, but you can see those oranges there indicating that 8 to 12 inch range. And then, you know, 6 to 8 inches as you go further inland. But a lot of rainfall. And like most of these storms, very sharp gradient where it cuts off. You're in Waco or San Antonio. You get very little to anything, Dallas, Fort Worth included. But if you're off to the east, you may get several inches of rain. So this is um, looks like it's going to wrap up in that upper trough. And that frontal boundary is kind of going to really focus that rainfall on that more narrow corridor. 
but a lot of rain coming for East Texas and especially, you know, on, along the coast here between Houston and uh, Matagorda Bay, a lot of rainfall coming in the next two or three days. Barrel will be moving, but it will not be moving terribly fast. So no stalling, god awful flooding situation here, but this will produce significant flash flooding, especially near the coast. And always remember when you look at these rainfall totals, especially if you're living very close to the coast here, eight to 12, you can get up to double that. It just, if the rain bands pick you and train over you more, you could get a lot more than that. So be prepared for a lot of rainfall as this comes in. Storm Prediction Center's outlook for tornadoes is also going to be up. 5% has been issued. No, no doubt where the storm comes in and to the right of that is where we typically see tropical tornadoes. Again, tropical tornadoes are not the longest lived tornadoes or particularly the strongest tornadoes. They can absolutely do massive amounts of damage and they're very hard to detect and move very fast. So along the coast there, Houston, Galveston, and then back down to Matagorda Bay, you also have the threat of tornadoes in these tropical rain bands, especially the outer bands that come in. And that will be a threat not only today as the outer bands come in, but tomorrow as the core of barrel begins to move away, there will be a significant severe weather risk on the edge of that for lots of Louisiana and Arkansas and folks like that that are going to be on the edge of the storm. So that's kind of the latest I got for you guys this morning on barrel. Again, it's kind of a down and dirty update, but again, not much to talk about at this point. You know, the storm is expected to intensify this afternoon and tonight and will likely be picking up steam all the way into landfall tomorrow morning right around sunrise hurricane conditions are expected hurricane impacts are expected you know winds rain surge tornadoes the whole boat is going to be coming with this and um, please don't discount how the storm looks this afternoon because by tonight or tomorrow morning we can have a very different barrel on our hands this does look a little bit ominous as i'm looking at the satellite right now so thankfully the rest of your tropics are quiet today nothing else going on in the atlantic basin 96l is just a remnant wave and um, it looks like after barrel gets in we are going to have a quiet week or two at least so that's what I got for you guys today. Again, check the Facebook page for more consistent updates. Until then, guys, uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.